I listen to a lot of Christian radio, um, a lot of different preachers, uh, D. James Kennedy, I'm trying to remember some of the names, um, is it Chuck Swindoll, uh, Ravi Zacharias, just these guys that they would have on doing their, their preaching. I would have that, have the radio on in my car in the kitchen. I listened all the time. I just wanted to know more. I was always very attracted to who was earnestly living out their faith, and I was not sure as to how to live out my faith. I was listening to a lot of different people, and they didn't always say the same thing, but they were all very earnest in their faith and living it out, and they all loved Jesus. But how would I know which way to go in living out my faith if one person said, you know, one thing and another person said another in regards to interpretation of certain Bible scriptures. You know, do you drink? Do you not drink? Do you fast? Do you not fast? Just, you know, any myriad of things that you might encounter on your day-to-day -day living out of your faith. And, you know, always the answer was, oh, those are all minor, just love Jesus. But I needed more than that. I needed more guidance because I thought, well, these things don't not matter, but I didn't know what the answer was. I didn't want all of the decisions to depend on me, to simply figure out all these issues of the different preachers saying different things. It became like the church of Maya, the church of me, to just, well, figure out what works and then do that. Just love Jesus. That's all that matters. And I'm like, it seems too convenient what if I choose not to challenge myself? You know, I'm the type of person that wanted to challenge myself rather than not. Um, so that was that was a, a a struggle I was going through of trying to figure out what is the right way, and that led me to the authority question: Who's to say that my campus minister, what he was saying, was right? How did I know? What his, that his interpretation held any water other than that he was just really earnest about it or that any of the preachers that I heard on the radio, the same thing applied to them. You know, how do I know that that one's right versus that one if they're both earnestly living out their faith and loving Jesus? I needed more concrete um, guidance than that. I guess it was maybe even simply the claim of authority that did it for me. No one else was really claiming authority. They were only claiming their own feeling, interpretation, or opinion. And then, you know, their love of God. Whereas the Catholic Church was unique in that they claimed that they were the authority and that they had, you know, that they had the truth. I didn't see any of the other, you know, churches or denominations or or preachers, uh, in my perception from what I perceived at the time, were claiming that authority. And I needed somebody, I needed that in a way somebody to come in and say, no, I'm the boss. <laughs> this is, this is it. This is done. Like, but to actually have the, um, yeah, to have the authority, to have the, the proof to say, you know, to, to back it up. Say, this is, this is what, this is how we should live this out. This is what this scripture means. I have, I have the the um, it's, yeah, I have the authority to back it up to say yes, I'm right. <laughs> Nobody else is claiming that. The church, the Catholic Church, was for a long time that offended me. Long time it seemed presumptuous or arrogant or just wrong-headed, and it was. But I think God softened my heart, and I. I stopped seeing that as offensive or arrogant and rather saw it as um, a beautiful, restful, finally somewhere I could, you know, build my life on.